door gets pretty loud. I don't know, it sounds like there's a hundred doors opening at once with this. So you've, uh, you now know yeah, what I was talking about. Oh, we figured it out. <laughs> the door ends up sounding like a hundred doors opening at once. Yeah, that's a bug. And that only happens when you run the map on a dedicated server. It doesn't happen when you run it on a local listen server. Hmm. Can you fix it? I mean, can he... Is there a way to fix it? Is there... Yeah, um, I don't know what causes it, but what I tend to do is just have an ambient generic. But the problem, I believe, is more prevalent on rotating doors. Uh, but on normal doors, I think you can fix it by just using a different property for the sound. I think I had the problem on Steamworks Extreme, so I had to fix it there. So I can have a look at the VMF afterwards. Let's I, like it, I don't know if it's a problem if it happens when you use a loop. It doesn't attempt. happen with the other doors, does it? No, uh, I don't know if it only happens when you use a looping sound, but I don't think that sound is looping. But I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to investigate. So whilst you guys are playing, I'm just going to um, do a bit of checking on the server side. Eat my dust. I'm the fucking Put him up, nerd. pal. Hope you're a poopy head. <laughs> Entities look good, so there's only... Oh, fuck! 512 uh, edicts on the server. When I okay, checked. Well, so, um... People can totally rush you uh, at the start because of... Uh, there is, like, no really delay for you to prepare. Yeah, the door should open when the round actually starts. Yeah. So what you should do is have the door open using your TF Logic Arena on Arena Round Start. That's always the best um, output to use for things that start when the round does because sometimes the uh, pre-round freeze time, as it's known, can oh. change if the server has um, configured it to be longer and some servers even make it shorter so if you run things using logic auto or whatever then they can sometimes uh, go out of time or out of sync so always use TF logic arena on arena round start for things that need to start when the, arena, when the round start does Worry, I am recording this, so you can get all the feedback afterwards. At least PS plus use works. That's good. Yeah. Hmm. So that's slightly concerning. Whilst this trap holds people in place, if there's people in front, then that person can kind of just run on ahead and that can split the group up a little bit so the activator then has to run after two groups but fortunately you have this laser section so that should slow people down a little bit let's see how it works so it's left right left right Fuck. 
both have. But you got hit by the laser. Yeah. Well, that was much quicker than I was expecting. I calling here. Something just came up. Where's the tables thing from? Five. I know she's got my like that. Yes. When I check the edicts on the server, I notice you've got 42 spawn points. You only need 32 spawn points. 31 red and... One, one, one blue. blue. But then I suppose there's always a possibility for um, servers to have more than one activator. But I think that's rare. And in any case, one spawn point would probably be enough for those. Personally, I think that more than one activator is actually shit, and after testing it, going back to one was much better because maps are balanced around there being one activator. You have to yeah. design a map specifically to have more than one activator. I'll let you guys go on ahead up to uh, pass the laser trap. Pass the lasers. 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 Yeah, I was thinking that as well, Scales. I was thinking, like, given the how many players they are at the start, um, there isn't really much distance between each trap, and it's all crammed into one area. I think you've you've kind of put trap, 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 trap. What you should be doing. Um, what you should be doing is kind of working on the environment more and then incorporating the traps into the environment because the most yeah. important thing is the environment I want to say want to interrupt for a second soldier pig survived that trap the one I tripped off I don't know, Soldier Pig went into the trap and he survived for a second after the trap went off. Yeah, no, I'm joking. Just, just joke. All these doors, I keep thinking something's gonna pop out of them. You can make a trap with something popping out of them. What? Why did I die? There was a bomb no that came out of the ceiling. There was a really? uh, breaking ceiling glass up there. Well, that's confusing. There's, yeah. um, in all the other traps, there's, like, red lines on the ground. Don't want to, uh, scare you guys, but the motivator's coming. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Terrible. I do like the fact that the motivator doesn't take an absolute age to come, because motivators do often come far too late for them to be actually useful, so this is pretty good. Yeah, my comments about the um, the red lines on the floor, just assume the door is there. Uh, yeah, um... When I'm oh, talking no, no, about the case. red lines, I, um, I'm not saying you should have red lines on all traps, but because up until that point, I had been trained to expect that traps have red lines on the floor, um, I did not realise that there was a trap in the ceiling. It was not obvious to me, because the ceiling just looked like a window. What? <laughs> uh, okay, is it the same... Uh, type of trap than the office, the office map, yeah. But the way I um, like to do things with traps Fuck. is to make the um, actual trap zones obvious to look at just by the theming. So the most obvious example of that would be a huge fan, a staple of death run maps. If you see a big fan, you know that the trap zone is the fan. 
for things like this where, oh look, there's a random explosion or something appears from the wall, you know, you, you basically cannot see the trap element. Well, you don't really have any way to portray that apart from lines on the floor. Um, so what you could do is vary the environment, use different materials. Somebody said earlier on that the wood material repeated so often is a bit bland. And I agree, so maybe what you could do is kill two birds with one stone. Is change the, well, vary the environment a bit and use different materials to indicate a hazardous area. So, not perhaps not the best example, but an easy to understand example is to use wood for normal walls and then for walls in a trap zone where the trap zone needs to be made obvious you could use brick you could argue that if you were building a trap then a brick is a suitable material because it's more resilient to things that explode or to water or whatever Uh, balance the floor below the lasers? Do you mean that section... What the fuck? What? Okay. Did that just appear in front of you? I think there is a little delay between the activation of the second one or something. That's how you start a different <laughs> I did not actually realise that that floor broke until I saw you dying to it. I think that trap is not signposted at all, and it is an unfair trap. I think if you're going to have breakable platforms, you should indicate that they have something different about them. Uh, one easy way to do that is to have, like, hazard tape. Oh, I didn't see that. Maybe we're talking about different things. I'm not talking about this shot on the floor here. I'm talking about the, uh, the laser section. Rip. Oh yeah, 50-50 doors. You don't really need me to tell you why people don't like those. What the fuck? Oh, that's unfair. That's just like a free kill, isn't it, really? It's a guaranteed kill. You just wait until somebody runs through it. And then press the button. At least, if somebody sacrificed themselves, don't let it be in vain. I like it, could you? We get it. Yeah, um, personally, I re always recommend against 50 50 doors. But if you can't think of anything to put in their place at the moment, then I would suggest getting rid of the. Um, manual override because that's just a guaranteed kill trap and guaranteed kill traps are not fun I mean you could argue that you could juke it but it's still somebody's already given the life for it so if you're gonna force somebody to do a 50-50 unfair trap don't add insult to injury <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the freaking heavies are so We don't seem to be getting very far, do we? No. We only have six players anyways. Yeah, maybe we should um stop using the first few traps so we can actually gauge the rest of the okay. map. Okay. I 
So this section here, I did not know that the floor could break. So I, I would like... say... I feel like for that um, moving laser trap up here, the one where you have to get under those lasers, the uh, middle one moves a lot faster than the first one does. I think on those, um, the alternating lasers that go left, right, left, right, I would just not have a breaking floor, because I think that trap itself is Hello. challenging enough. What you've created there is a skill trap. It forces players to use their um, judgment. And I think that is satisfying on its own. I think an issue too is that most of the traps here are not really Minecraft themed. I know there is not like a lot of things you could do with Minecraft uh, themed traps, but maybe, yeah. Like that for example, zombies or something. Yeah, that should be easy to um, replace everything that's not Minecraft themed with Minecraft themed things. So many blocks and entities to choose from now. Or even maybe like like what uh, Pigs made, like some inside jokes or something like that. You could even yeah, take like, inspiration from... Like Minecraft that. World is like really Minecraft themed, it doesn't have to rely on memes all the time. You could also, yes. um... Let's do it in pretend. order, maybe. Yeah, do it in order, left to right. Oh, Doom. Nice, Minecraft theme. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I didn't, uh... I didn't realize they uh, disappeared and reappeared because I couldn't see through all the other players. Maybe what you should do for those um, disappearing and reappearing platforms is add an effect. So for instance, if you use the um, dissolver... If you use the dissolve entity, for instance, to uh, simulate disappearing, Matt, that would make it more noticeable. Ahead. Um, I would, but the problem is, there's a very real chance of you rushing ahead. And I'm the oh. activator. Uh, this wall on the activator side is making it difficult for me to see. Like, um, oh spooky! I'm gonna oh, start spooky. triggering traps from now on. Spooky. Yeah, I would just make the whole wall see through. I don't uh, like I'll... having my my vision obstructed at all. Also, uh, we uh, maybe on the lava, maybe make it like uh, uh, emit light, something like that. Yeah, good idea. I think also that, um, oh fuck, someone's rushing ahead again. Bastards. Yeah, because the activator corridor is on the outside of this corner, I've got to run further in order to catch up, and it's easy for them to outrun me. You should put your activator corridors on the inside of corners, not on the outside. I also think that um, the speed lane is too close to the buttons. It should be like, maybe another 128, or another 64 units away. I'm okay, well, really thankful for the fact I have a shotgun. I'll let you continue, I won't trigger any traps. Because if I didn't yeah, have but, a shotgun, I mean, I'd be screwed. Uh, would you, <clears throat> I mean, do you want me to respawn players? You can raise them from there if you want. I'll, I'll kill people. It's forward slash raise. And then at red. Yeah, I'm in danger here of standing in front of buttons and then stepping back and then touching the activator, sorry, the speed lane and then getting carried away. 
I also think the buttons um, aren't large enough. They don't, they're not obvious enough to see. So when I'm looking back at buttons, I can't tell if a button has been activated or not. It um, blends into the background too much. Uh, also, uh, maybe like the the one where the traps where the ah um, uh, the floor rise up here. Maybe you can make it a pista, something like that. Actual Minecraft. Uh, I mean, tr try to use like Minecraft themed uh, things. Yeah, you could use like levers for buttons and stuff. Also. This final trap didn't seem to do anything from my point of view. I pressed the button and I didn't see anything actually happen. And then they survived, so... Not a very effective final trap. Also maybe use Minecraft music. Yeah, so that would I, also be good. I Although didn't I like hear any Minecraft music. I know it's not... Most of the music is not really epic or things like that, but I mean some of them could be just Minecraft music. Yes, could get uh, Minecraft that's remixes. what I, I know, but yeah, maybe Minecraft remixes, but I mean for most of the map maybe you could use um, disc music. For example, Big Step. I actually quite like the music though on its own, so I don't mind too much here. I mean, it's not even um, real Undertale music, I think. It's just a remix. Uh... Oh fuck! Jesus Christ! <laughs> that's that's not fair. <laughs> if you're going to start um, introducing things like that, you shouldn't make the um, the spinner so fast. I think once you've gotten to the um, once you've gotten the spinner up to a decent speed, is introduce the extra hazardous elements sooner. Because I thought the spinner was just going to be a standard spinner and go on forever. Um, most of the players had already died, I think, by the time the platform spawned. So I'd say make the spinner's max speed lower, go and then here. introduce that um, platforming element sooner. Also, give players more chance to um, adapt to the disappearing and changing platforms. Like flash it a few times before it happens, so they actually have chance to see it and move to it. Try not to make your um, mini games for people like Hatchler Vivo, who are pros. <laughs> give us noob something to do as well. You don't always have to have, like, things be really challenging. As long as they are... As long as they challenge you, but they're not, like, too difficult, if you know what I mean. They can still be enjoyable. I suppose it's finding a balance, really, isn't it? Uh, one thing you could try also is, um, if ever you look at Minecraft videos and stuff, people do some really clever stuff with command blocks. So maybe what you could do is pretend that you've um, got command blocks set, uh, setting things up. So like, um, sometimes you can do proximity based things with command blocks. Um, I used to do a, a thing where I'd have like a, a 9x9 square hole in the ground and then um, I have a pressure plate in the middle and then I spawn a duck and, the, and I'd cover it up <laughs> and the, um, the duck would um, wander around and occasionally it would trigger the pressure plate and it would pick a, a random player and it would say something mysterious like the duck has selected you you know, you're being observed I wasn't planning to uh, to soldier pick because that's kind of died off now. The interest in it. Oh, I always forget there's a trap here. Hey, 
Zero, Pauling here. This contract just came in. I mean, if you want the server to be back up and running, I'm happy to load it. But like I said, um, I think you're going to struggle to have people playing on it. Maybe you should wait a bit longer but until more versions are released. It's really no trouble for me to um, start the Minecraft server again. It doesn't cost anything. Anyone want to throw? Who wants to do this? Let's do this. Well, it will release anyway. I tested it. It's looking very nice for now. Also, I think it will be nice in the future to um, to use an online server where everybody has to have an account because it's much less um, difficult to deal with spammers than if everyone has to use a Minecraft account. So maybe you should save up some pocket money or something. Uh, um, yeah, but it costs a lot. Minecraft. No, it doesn't. Not the game, but the um, servers actually. Uh, I, I mean, may maybe it's the standard price for servers, but I wouldn't pay for myself or some Minecraft server. I'm not sure what you're referring to. I'm talking about a copy of the game. An official ah license. yes, okay never mind, never mind then. Because we I had mean yeah it's 25 server. euros so... Because one or two people um, didn't have an official yes. license version yes, of the game. Yes, My bad. Yeah it cost like 25 bucks so... It's not too, too much. So, uh, are there more things we need to look at here, guys? Uh, maybe finish the minigames? Another so suggestion at least for the we... spinner. Ah, uh, we just did the spinner, but... Another suggestion for the spinner, spinner minigame, sorry, is to oh. have a line on the ground that shows where the invisible wall is, because, uh, Personally, when I come up against the invisible wall in a spinner, I find it interferes with my game if I crash into it by accident. Did you... Scales, did you do anything to combat engineers and buildings since oh, the last Oh, okay, 50-50. Some servers allow engineers to build weapons. Oh, build weapons. <laughs> well, build buildings. Sorry. I I got actually killed by the red trigger, so it was red that was supposed to kill me. Uh, I mean, that was red that we're supposed to use. So. I suppose um, he used the uh, explosion, actual explosion, to do uh, the thing. Or is it trigger? Well, didn't Triggers. tell you what entity caused your death in chat. Yes, yes, I and I said like that it was the red thing that killed me. It gives you a class name though. It tells me that I was killed by an N explosion. Yeah, never mind. So yes, it's an explosion. So, uh, maybe it's the radius that we're... Uh, um, Indeed, it will be the uh, radius. I don't uh, recall if you I, can filter end of explosions or not. I, I, I mean, I never actually used um, the hertz of the explosion. I always use triggers, so it's better to control the thing. Yes, you can do that visual only, that deal no damage.
you set the damage type to explosion or jib or whatever it is. Oh, that's just not fair. Actually, just use triggers. So you use triggers, um, and I—I uh, I mean, I never actually used the uh, hurt of the explosion. die to the explosion. Everybody's dead, Dave. Mm, Veli. Okay. Yeah. What happens if you don't pick anything? Yeah, maybe we should test that first. Yeah. <laughs> don't know, Clip, what are you doing? I never did that, I don't know what you're talking about. It says Veli toggled no clip on Veli. Oh, but Stop absolutely cheating. not. You might accidentally trigger a trigger. Okay. Oh, I was scared. I think maybe okay. you want to reduce that. Or what you should do is add a team round timer as a countdown so people know how long they have. I think this is a colored game. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And where are we looking? Oh, wait, oh. no. No. Is it just a random color that disappears? Maybe you should put like a, time, a timer or visual timer or audio timer or something I think like this, um, this arena could use more light. In office. Yeah, I could. <laughs> Don't cheat, guys. Maybe some better lighting on that um, front scoreboard where the colors are showing up. I also can't see the other players through the chains. I think you should um, add a gap in the chain walls so we can see each other. I think one of the only things we need to test is if the motivator can be bypassed somehow. Or if any traps can be out healed by medics. Or as, as I was saying earlier, you should protect against engineers building buildings because on some servers they're allowed. So in certain situations, sections where you don't want buildings being built, you should either put a funk no build on there, or a trigger hurts, which targets everything. Uh, and if it's set to everything in the spawn flags, it will also damage um, buildings, I believe. By the way, can you get killed by the door itself? Like does it? Uh, yeah, it crushed. Can you block the door? Yeah. There's a spy over here. Try um summon them underneath it, I'll close it.
Oh, he's coming. Close, clear. Close the door. <laughs> he's coming. Oh no. Oh fuck it. Uh... Sorry, I accidentally opened the Discord. Um... It's got overlay. <laughs> Couldn't find out how to close it. Oof, what am I doing? So let's see if we can bypass it. Should be able to see the triggers of the, um, the motivator now. Yep. Uh. Um. <laughs> yeah. I think you can bypass it. Oh yeah, no! Yeah. Put it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, for some reason, it teleports through that room. Through the laser room. What if you were in the laser room and it teleports through? You wouldn't get killed by it, would you? Also, I hope you filtered it so that um, blue players can't be hit by the trigger. Yeah, it's not... Um so... It in your console, the command to uh, show the us yourself is show triggers underscore toggle. Don't do it here. Do it when you're testing the map locally. Maybe he accidentally did it sideways. Just as Unless I am. had food about enabled. As a precaution, when you build a motivator, um, have it so that when it reaches the end, it triggers like a, a round lose for red. That is if reds haven't already been teleported into the minigame area. If they have, then obviously you'll want to kill the motivator. And all the path tracks, if you can. But whatever. One of the things I like to do is to sanitize areas by having a big trigger hurt over each area. So if you split the map into groups and have like a trigger hurt over area one, area two, area three, etc then when the train reaches a certain point you can enable that trigger and it will just sanitize everybody so even if they do manage to find a hiding place they still won't be able to survive so any uh, questions or suggestions guys well I would say maybe less memes but it's your map Other than what you made, I... Yeah, Trap should be more Minecraft-based. You failed!
Like a random song, a rap song, ear rape song. <laughs> Just as a joke. The number of edicts is quite low. That's good. Randomly it rapes you. I think that um, you need to improve the environment, make it more um, interesting. I think you need to increase the distance between each trap, make it harder to rush. Increase the visibility of the runners for the activator on their side. Oh yeah, and don't uh, put um, don't put two traps close together like this crafting table and this bomb trap. Well, you can save that for version two, can't you? Like I said earlier on, um, minor changes, you should use V1A, V1B, etc. Major changes, like, you know, big changes to the geometry, traps, etc. Use major version numbers. As I said before as well, uh, activate a corridor, put it on the inside of corners, etc. What I think people should do when they design layouts is... Uh, why did we win? Just curious. The idea scales? Why we won? got a video so we can always look afterwards but yeah um, when you design a layout for a death run map I suggest beginning with the activator corridor and building the runners course around it rather than doing that the other way around because if you design it based around the activators corridor then you cannot help but have a good activator corridor it really doesn't matter too much um, what the layout of the runner's course is but the activator corridor has to be good because if the activator has a, a difficult time that affects every round especially when you consider that many people only get to the activator once every one or two server sessions so they don't have enough practice to be able to play properly it, most of the time, because of the, the turnover of players on death run servers, many activators will be new to the map, so they won't know its uh, ins and outs. You want to try and make it easy for them. Alright then, with that, I'm going to uh, stop recording, unless anybody has anything left to say. Thank you, Dodo. Thanks, everybody. Have a nice day.